Okay, good afternoon, guys. It is a freaking gorgeous day, and we are still pretty snowless, but we have to get Wraith ready because we are headed to the mountains in, it's going to be here before we know it, like 12 days we leave. So we got to get the tracks on it. So what better time? It's been a long time because as you know, Mrs. Asta, you know, God, God bless her, but she smashed that A-arm, but we got that all fixed up. A little bit of footage here, but everything went super smooth. I had never done an A-arm before, you know, disassembling the whole front of the X3, but it all went really good. We got that all swapped out. So before we put the tracks on, guys, let's do a little versus battle. I have never driven these back to back. I've only been going for rips in the Mav R lately. I haven't even driven the X3 for like two months. So what better chance to Are do- tires comparable? Uh, they're both 32, they're pretty comparable. I think maybe these ones, are maybe just a touch say more grippy but man they're pretty dang comparable it's cool that they're both 32s anyways these are the versacross v3s and then these are the itp tenacities that come on the mavr so so yeah they're comparable enough definitely for top speed both stock both bone stock because that's a late model 21 you guys as you know the ec is ecu is locked on those suckers so she they're both bone stock so it's really going to be an awesome an awesome video to compare <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're gonna even though it is gorgeous it's it's like maybe minus two it's it it does get cold when you're doing freaking 90 miles an hour so well 90 miles an hour in that maybe not 90 miles an hour in that but yeah okay we're gonna hit a few obstacles kind of back to back and we'll try to edit it so we'll basically hit one of the out of our boom it'll be wraith and then we'll kind of switch back and forth and then at the end hopefully we can have some sort of drag race or something across the field because I have no idea. I know the X3 is a lot a lot lighter. So does it get the jump on the Mavar? So that's really when tires are gonna come into play, which one hooks up better. Top end, there is no comparison, right? You can do 160 kilometers an hour in the Mavar before you hit the limiter. And I think you do about 140 in the X3. So there's no no chance up top. I'm just you know wondering about the, like say about the eighth mile, you know, 600 foot, which one's gonna be out ahead. And of course, that's gonna be traction related, right? Here's what we're racing on. <laughs> we'll go out in one of our fields or whatever, get a nice long stretch and we'll race out in the field. So whichever one gets traction, but it should be super fun. So let's get to the action. All right. I got a little bit of plowing to do on the lake so we could get our little skating rink ready. But the first challenge is gonna be three laps around the pond. Let's do it. second on the back straight there Woo! you start getting some real wheel speed okay now it's gonna be very interesting now we're gonna rip ray okay
Jeez. Oh, jeez. Whoa, dang. You know, <laughs> holy cow, man. I think he had just as much fun. The X3 is a freaking riot too. It, it is It is very different. It seems like, I don't know, obviously it's, it's much more linear power, but it seems like that it's just lacking that mid range, but it's so hard to tell because everything's just spinning like crazy, but it was freaking fun. <laughs> I have no idea who beat who. They both felt very similar as far as getting around there. You, like, say, you definitely, the it looked like you were kind of losing traction a couple spots there. Oh yeah, there. a couple spots, yeah. man. I'm like, I'm like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> and then when you're drifting in four wheel drive, sometimes it sends you way wide out in the corner and you want to kind of stay tight, but I'm no pro driver, but I am pro haver, fun haver, so. <laughs> pro haver. <laughs> that was a fun, okay, yeah. let's go hit some jumps. Okay. 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 Let's talk about... Oh. So this one we're going to hit our second tabletop because it is the sweetest jump we have on our whole track. And I guess we'll just try to compare landings, I guess. And, and I guess uh, flight too. The flex, the... Yeah, yeah, just how, yeah, how it how it soaks it up or whatever. So, and, and uh, you know, how it is in the air and everything like that. But I already know... <laughs> I already know this jump is so freaking fun. You get like a solid two seconds of air and it's just awesome. And uh, around, around, I didn't really film any of it, but around like New Year's and Christmas, uh, lots of friends and family were over and none of them have ever been in, in a sport by si side by side, let alone the Mavar. And I, t I would take them and I'd do this little track and, and it would be hitting this jump. And oh my goodness, everyone was just like, <laughs> I got reactions from people thinking they were gonna die to just sheer laughter to woo -hoos. Did you video that? It was that? so much fun. We got to get some of that on video for you guys. I'll, I'll try to get my sister-in-law cause she's, she's pretty high strung as it is and she's never been in it. So I'll try to, I'll try to video that when we, when I bring her on the track for the first time. Cause this track, this Can-Am track is, it's so much fun there. The jumps are so awesome. The banked corners are so much awesome. Even in the snow, once you dig through the snow and you get to the dirt, you're getting maximum traction. So you get this slingshot effect around the corners. It's so much fun. Okay. But for now, we're just gonna, uh, we're gonna compare jumping. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Man, the X3 is so much fun as well. You were getting some tail kick on so, both So yeah, the, the, very, the, the last one I finally, man, I was like, I had to put my purse down. Like I just was not hitting it fast enough. Finally, last one I hit the transition ice. First thing you feel instantly is the power steering on the Mavar is freaking so next level. It's like, wow, is it, it, it feels like, not having power steering to having actually power steering, of course you feel it, but man, going from this to that, there's just as much change. It's like going from no power steering to power steering. It's crazy. Power, it, it, the Mavar just seems a little bit more savage as far as, as far as those shifts and, and it just seems like... The connection or what? Yeah, like it, like maybe, it, you know, that just clutches, shifting and stuff. It just, it's that, those slight, you know, fractions of a second, fractions of a second, they all, they all add up to just... It seems like, it seems like, right, and this is just my opinion, it seems like that would be quicker around, quicker out of the corner, quicker everywhere. But you can also do lots of little tricks like preloading, you know, driving with two two feet and kind of preloading the turbo on this too. That's that Sport Plus mode. It's always, it's always in that one or two or however many pounds boost. So when you hit it, it's always right there. And that transmission, it shifts so well. Like I, I you guys, I never run the paddle shifters. I just leave it automatic because it does such a good job. And then all I have to worry about is steering, braking, you know, everything. I don't have to try to worry about shifting. It's super fun out in the field to bang through the gears for sure. But on the track, it's like, it does such a freaking good job. I just leave it in auto. But all I can say after a couple of events is, holy cow, these things are fun. <laughs> okay, on to the next one. Okay, okay, so this is the freestyle. Okay, so this is like, you know what I really would love to compare, but we just don't have any right now, 
is is like moguls, like a mogul type thing in slow motion just to see how the suspension works. But we don't really have that right now. So we're doing some side hill freestyle. So, and then it'll be the race. So, All right. So <laughs> basically which one's more fun to drive? All right, you ready? Get it on! More oh, fun sorry. to just go nuts in. Okay. Right. I think they're both kind of the same. They're well, really fun. they're both really fun. This one's pretty. control in a drift because again you have that kind of more linear power whereas that you're in first gear and all of a sudden boom it hammers second and all of a sudden you pick up not double the wheel speed but way more wheel speed so then you really have to correct for that what mm, nothing i was thinking it would catch but oh yeah no it's it just it, it doesn't really catch but it just gives you instant wheel speed when it hits the next gear and then you have to kind of compensate for that but the more you drive it, the more you get used to it, and the more it's just like intuitive and, and you just have no trouble controlling it. But but man, I'm telling you, <laughs> you really can't go wrong. You guys, if you have an X3 and you're having this, like you need the new thing, if you're happy with your X3, man, I'm telling you, they are a freaking solid rig. So don't have, don't have that envy where you need the newest thing. The Mavart is freaking amazing, it's awesome, but if you got an X3, just know that they are a freaking blast. Driving them back to back to back, they are both a freaking blast to rip. So if that makes you feel better, I don't know if it does or not, but I'm telling you, if you're happy and, and it's doing everything you need it to be, man, don't worry about it. You know, ram it around for a couple more years and then see maybe there'll be some more stuff with the Mavar. Who knows what the future holds? But for now, we just got to do this top end race, which again, I have no idea how this is going to go. The X3 is freaking fast. Race freaking rips, man. So Except for, except for it has a slower driver, so. <laughs> But you just hold it to the floor. Oh. And we'll, we'll set a little lane so you just have to follow a set of tracks, hold it to the floor, and then I'll put a thing in the snow where, where you, where you got to hit the brakes so All we right. just don't end up in the trees. Okay. the first 
first time I just could not get going. I gotta land the drone, it has like 10% battery. <laughs> My drone controller holding tree, got it. What do we got left here? Oh, it's still 14%. Man, I just could not get going. Just like, eh, it wouldn't shift, it was just spinning. The tire, I think the Versacross are a better tire, like they hook much better. It would be cool, we gotta definitely do this again. Hey, hey? You missed me almost sliding out of control. Oh, I didn't see. Why, why are we doing that? <laughs> I'm like, oh, the trees! Really? Yeah. When you're on the inside? Outside. Oh. How did you always hit the trees on the outside? Started sliding, oh, sliding. funny. I'm like, oh. you, what we really got to do is we got to get on like a prep surface, like a like a closed road, and do it again, because uh, it would be much better. Because yeah, basically now it's just whatever tire can hook through the snow into the dirt, so, but it's still so a freaking so blast. I put a much one go. No. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Okay. So yeah, we just want to have a little bit of fun today because like I said, race got to go on tracks. We've got to get it into winter mode. It's got to get the doors, the windshield, and the tracks put on. So we're going to do that this week. Get it ready to go to the mountains. Hopefully there's like 30 feet of snow there. I can't freaking wait. But as always, we wouldn't be able to do any of this stuff without you guys. We freaking love you guys. We're glad you're here. We love sharing our, love sharing our adventures with you guys. And we'll see you next video.